Back here at home, an emergency rally will take place tomorrow in South Bend, aiming to show support of the Palestinian struggle. It's sponsored by the Notre Dame chapter of the group Student Voices for Palestine. Mark Peterson joins us in studio with that part of our coverage tonight. Hey, Mark. Well, first of all, you could expect to not to hear the group condone the violent attack on Israel by the Palestinian militant group Hamas. Do expect to learn more about the reasons behind it, though. It was a brutal act of war that some see as a desperate cry for help. Military resistance is one form of resistance. For me, like, I do not condone like, the senseless killing of civilians, of Israelis. Uh, but the vast majority of Palestinian resistance of the occupation has been nonviolent. But we don't hear about this here in the U.S. We only hear about what Hamas is doing. Daniel Benora is a Palestinian Ph.D. candidate in theology at Notre Dame. He believes the desperate measures simply reflect the desperate times, particularly in the Palestinian enclave of Gaza. The UN considered uh, the Gaza Strip as, a, as uninhabitable, unlivable in 2020, and 95% of water in Gaza is uh, undrinkable. 65% uh, of the population is unemployed. Gaza has been under a very brutal blockade by the Israeli military for the last 15 years, 16 years since 2007. It's described basically like a concentration camp, an open-air prison where every aspect of life is maintained and controlled by the guards outside of that prison. Benora believes the situation just doesn't pass the smell test through the lens of Catholic peace and justice. We continue to be under an occupation that is supported by our tax dollars. Every year, the U.S. sends to Israel $3.8 billion of our tax money to maintain and normalize the oppression and the killing of people in Palestine. Now, the rockets that are falling on the people of Gaza. Now, the rally will take place from 6 to 8 tomorrow night. That's on the John Hunt Plaza in front of the Morris Performing Arts Center by the Fountain. Our Mark Peterson live for us in studio. Mark, thank you.